Let's talk about selling your home as is. So here in Tennessee, a lot of times I'll have sellers that I meet with and they're like, now I'm selling my home as is. I'm not doing anything to it. So let's talk a little bit about what does as is mean? Selling a home as is means you're selling the property in its current condition without making any repairs or improvements. Buyers will know up front they can take it or they can leave it. So in Tennessee, selling a home as is does come with legal obligations. You're still required to disclose any known issues with the property. Failure to do so can get you in legal trouble. So if you occupy a home and you go to list that house, if you've lived in the home any time in the past three years as your primary residence, you're required to fill out what's called a property condition disclosure. And it's a five page document where it's going to ask you if you have any holes in the wall, do you have any issues with the ceiling, does the basement leak? Like it's just going to ask you all types of different questions about your home. You are required to fill that out if the home has been your primary residence. If, however, this has been a rental home, if you lived in it for a few years, but then you had a kid living in it or a family friend or it's just sat vacant, if you've not lived in the house for the past three years, maybe you inherited a home because someone died, then you can fill out the property condition exemption, which means you don't have to answer all those questions about the house, but there are still going to be five or six questions that are required of everyone. You're going to have to disclose if you have a sinkhole, you need to talk about whether or not you're in a planned unit development. You need to disclose if you have the soil test or the park test for the property. So those are legal requirements. Your agent will typically go over those documents with you. We cannot help you answer them. Now, why would you consider selling as is? The pros include a quicker sale and fewer expenses on repair. But the cons mean sometimes you're going to have a lower selling price and a smaller pool of interested buyers. Now, when you sell a home as is, basically you're telling that buyer, I'm not making any repairs. You're getting whatever you get. But we cannot tell a buyer that they cannot do a home inspection. That is their right if they want to write a home inspection in. They just are aware up front that we are not going to negotiate those repairs. So they can do their home inspection and then they have to make that decision. Am I going to take this house in the current condition or do I want to terminate this contract based on the information I now have? So you definitely want to make sure you're pricing your home correctly when you're selling it as is. You are not going to get the primo price for your home when it needs cosmetic renovations, when the outside needs painting, when the roof probably only has two to three years left, when the HVAC is working half the time and not half the time. So you have to figure that in when you're pricing your home. A competitive price is going to make your home more appealing and let buyers know that you have priced it knowing that there's things that need to be done. And finally, if you're trying to sell your home as is in Tennessee, you need to work with a realtor who's experienced in these type of sales. We can guide you through the process. We can talk about legal repercussions and we can help you find the right buyer for your home. So if you want to sell your home as is in Tennessee, make sure you're well informed and well represented. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. I would love to talk with you about selling your home.